everybody. How's it going? Is what I meant to say before. I didn't capture my voice for a sec. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force. We back again. But let me just tell you, it has been a long ass week, but I'm back. And I'm happy to be back on this wonderful Friday, knowing that I got the weekend off. I can spend time. Hopefully there will be people actually here. That would be that would be nice, but either way, glad to be back. How does that? What was I up to? I think we just managed to get Chaz to full friendship. I believe. I'm fairly certain we did. Let me check just to make sure though. Let's see. We did. D606, hey Suika. AO to you. Hope you're having a good Friday. I am. How have you been? I know it's been a it's been a bit. You got a card from good old chess. I did, I don't remember what it is. I do not remember what it is. I was just gonna look that up actually. Shit. How's progress? Progress has been pretty good. We got everyone to full friendship. I don't know which card I got from them. I think it was a... Uh, I think it was a... Uh, uh, I'm playing Plants as a Garden, Garden Warfare right now. How's that? I think it was this. I think it was one of these two, but I could be wrong on that. I, I don't remember. What the hell? I haven't played, like, something like that in a while. Like, plants versus zombies and all that. I don't remember what... It's been a while. It's been... It's been a whole... It's been a couple days. I could definitely look, at, look up my VOD to find out. So it ain't a big deal. But uh, other than that, in terms of like progress, um, we got Chaz to full friendship. And now we're kind of just breezing through the days until uh, something interesting happens, I guess. I mean... Uh, one question, though. I don't understand why Chaz... Or why does he have the jacket that he wears when he joins Sartorius here. Why does he have this? He should <laughs> he should not have this. I know it's probably not a big deal, but it, it kind of just irks me a little bit. Because I don't remember in the anime him having a jacket like this before. I mean, I know he didn't. I'm just saying, like... There, I, unless maybe it was a super obscure detail that I just happened to miss, but... It's a little spoiler. I I guess again, it's not a big deal. Like it's it's probably cuz this game probably came out like Yeah, no, this game this game came out after since it does have uh Neos and the Neo Spatians and some of the Destiny Air. So I guess I guess it's fine. I mean, I don't know. It's just weird. It's not a big deal. It's not like a something that makes the game bad or anything. It's just funny. Because, again, now that I think about it, they do have some of the cards from, like, later in the series here, so... I'm guessing that's why they did that. Oh, sorry, what the fuck? My mouse is being weird as hell. There we go. Just something I thought about. That's kind of funny. I really don't know what I want to do, because, I mean... 
I... Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess I could do this. I could buy some of Chaz's cards. Let's do it. I, uh, I started Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, by the way. I'm liking it so far. I mean... I could try... Buying a couple of these. I've not been disappointed in Yu-Gi-Oh's Exile so far. What did I get? Mahavilo. Water White. I never get Snatch Steel out of these. I don't think I ever will. Chaos Necromancer. Ooh. That's not bad. The Dark Door is not bad either. Huh. Bean Sanctuary is not. Hmm. Pay one thousand life considering your sample of this. See, I I might actually consider putting that in my deck. Maybe. Yes. Strong one wants me to deal with the lowest attack. Nah. The dark door. I'm not gonna put. That. No, but I mean, it, I like this card. I find this card cool. I find this card cool. Lions. Uh, interesting card. Huh. The attack of this card becomes also cards in the graveyard. I mean. Chaos Necromancer might not be a bad fit for my deck. I mean, all things considered, I don't really have that many, like, low-level monsters that could do good, and that's really bad for enemies that have things like, uh... What is that shit called? Level Limit Area A, I think it is. I might actually put Chaos Necromancer in my deck. I mean, worst-case scenario is if he's in my hand and I don't have any monsters, I can just wait until I do. I mean... What's the worst that could happen with that? You only have to be this card. There are several more cards. Wait, oh. Dimension Fusion. Wait, what is Dimension Fusion? What's that there? Pay 2,000 life points. Both players special summon as many. Oh. So it's like return from the different dimension, alright. I I've never seen that art for the unhappy girl before. Alright, well, actually, uh, Unhappy Maiden, I think, is the other one. Never mind. It's the same one, though. While this card is a face-up attack which is on the field, this card is not destroyed as a result of battle. A monster that is battled with this card cannot change its battle position except with a card effect. Oh. Okay, okay. that's... I might actually buy more Chaz's packs, actually. Because I remember Chaz's whole thing was that he had, like, weak monsters, so... That might actually be good for me. I'm up for it. Maybe I'll try a couple more of these. Let's see. Unicorn. Hustle Robber. I'm just never gonna get Snatch Steel, huh? I don't even 
even really want to put it in my deck that badly. I would just like to have it. I mean, good lord. Ooh, Inferno Tempest. I remember that from uh, the Pyramid of Light movie. Oh yeah, he did have Relinquish in his deck. Who? By the way, in the show, who the hell threw away Relinquish? That is a good card. Why would you throw that away? Like, what? I, wait, <laughs> I don't understand that. That is a good card. I, I guess because it's a ritual, but I mean, I, I don't, ooh, that's a good card. I, I don't get that. I don't know. Whoever threw that away was an idiot. I don't, I don't know. Not damn satellite cannon. Did I have returned them a different dimension? I didn't. Um. Level seven or lower monster during each of your end phases. This card gives you guys an attack. Huh. I remember in the anime that was a like a one turn kill thing. What does this do? Pay okay, 800 life points. Pick up four cards from the deck, from the top of your deck. Special summon to your side of the field. Oh, no. Okay. When your opponent fusion summons a fusion monster, tribute one monster on your side of the field to take control of it. Uh. Huh. Spell speed two. I'll consider it. Uh, I'll, I'll consider it. There aren't too many, like... Uh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people do fusions, but I... I don't hate fusions that much. To be honest, to want to put that in my deck. When you trade 3,000 or more, yeah, I, I love Inferno Tempest and now it's using Pyramid of Light, but I wouldn't want to put that in my deck because I, I don't really want all my monsters banished. If I had something uh, that like got attacked from it, maybe, but nah. Plus, even if I did, that would be such like a niche scenario, so. It's not... Yeah. I'm definitely putting Chaos Necromancer in my deck, though. I see no reason not to. And let me actually, while I'm at it, I was thinking of, a. Uh, I was thinking of thinning my deck out a little bit. Get rid of this. I use these two a lot. I use that a lot. I use that a lot. I think... I will get rid of these two for now. Maybe, uh... I don't think I'll get rid of Negate Attack, because Negate Attack actually ends the battle phase. Uh, if anything, I'll just keep them both in there. I think this is fine. Let me find, uh... Hey, Cute Corpse, welcome in. Hope you're having a good Friday. What am I trying to do here? It is fr yeah, it is Friday. What do I mean? I'm so happy it's Friday at work. Was I gotta go to work soonish? Oh, <laughs> I was just about to talk work about work too. Work has been hell. It's nice that I can finally wind down after work, but hope work goes good for you, uh, corpse. Cause I know nobody likes to go to work. 
I certainly don't. But we need the money. What am I looking for right now? Right, uh... What it what it, what's what's its face? There we go. Um. Hmm. I think I'll just add one. However, I. Uh, what was I thinking? What does Copycat do again? When this card is summoned. It adopts the original attack and defense of one opponent's monster. Um, okay. Oh, fuck it. I'll try it. I don't think I'm going to keep it in there, but I'll try it. Why not? Personal deck. All right. So, what do you guys think is gonna is gonna happen when I duel somebody? Do you think my deck's gonna suck or what? Let's see. Hey, Yan, duel me real quick. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, rock. I think it's gonna be a mixed bag. Probably. Yeah. I'll go first. It's so hot in here right now. Ugh. It's like 90 degrees outside. And it's 90 degrees in my room because... I, uh, whatever. It really made your character sprite look like red when you battle him at Mount Silver and Pokemon. Well, I don't know many Pokemon things, but this game does play a lot of similar beats, so I can imagine that. Okay, I'm gonna try Pot of Greed, because <laughs> Chaos Necromancer is not... There we go. I'll summon Drillroid. You gotta Google it after... Yeah, sure, I will. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, because, I mean, the hat... The hat kind of reminds me of a Pokemon character, Pot of Greed. Yeah. Every uh, anime character's bread and butter in Yu-Gi-Oh. What should I get? I mean, I'm thinking... What am I thinking? I'm thinking mage power. Uh, okay. That's pretty much it for me. Had a, had a hiccup there. Oh, right. Uh, this. What does Pandemonium do again? I have a player's in steps. Okay, but I've never seen him play Arc Fiends. I've never seen him play Arc Fiends. Not even once. So does he have them? I don't know. You don't remember the part? No, I do remember it. I I just I don't remember much of it. I guess. The video, yeah, I do. I do remember it. I it's just been a bit. I've work has been draining the hell out of me. I barely God, I barely remember what I what I was doing last time. I don't know. Maybe it's the yeah, like that's that's what I think. Like he heaven and hell, but I I just don't. Uh, whatever. What what was the what did they say in that video? I'm gonna have to watch it again. I saved it, so I can totally do that. I can watch it later, cause it was actually pretty funny. I just don't remember what happened in it. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, uh, Suika, you wanna know something? I'm... I really wanna finish this and get into Tag Force 3. Cause I've seen some things about it and it just seems fun. But I'm still, I, I'm still enjoying my time with this, oh shit. 
I'm just saying. Hell, actually, even like uh, Arc Tag Force Arc V, because I would like the wide selection you get from. Yeah. Bye. Give me just a second. I'm... God damn. Okay. So, in hindsight, I actually should have gotten a uh, future fusion because I actually could have taken advantage of that. But I didn't know. No, wait, no, I couldn't. I'm stupid because I got a. What's its face? A uh, Drillroid, so I couldn't use that. Never mind. What am I thinking? Anyway. Let me, uh, sorry. Okay, so first off, our deal with the Traveler. I'm not even gonna waste Mystical Typhoon. I mean, why would I? I don't need to do that. Okay, so I'll keep ne Chaos Necromancer in my deck because I only have one monster in there, but that's fine. I'll just attack with this. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? And that'll end my turn. Okay. Oh, you brought Zara back. How lovely. Great. Huh. I'll activate Ordeal the Traveler. Hopefully this works. That would be nice. It did. I could, I could, uh, let me just activate Mage Power and finish this off real quick. I love Mage Power. Bye. You're done. I think my deck is pretty good right now. What can I say? I mean, I wouldn't say good, but it, it's something, right? It's at least somewhat competent. I mean, I'm just gonna go to class at this point. I'm gonna check my emails, make sure I didn't forget anything, but what is today? The 6th of July? Shit, emails. Yeah, nothing. I'm gonna just go to class and skip the day. I'm in the class and do the do and all that. You have a fun fun. Oh, today's the test. Okay, uh, there are two parts written and practical. Let's start off with the written part of the exam. Suika, if you're here, uh, I might need your help a little bit. It's a multiple choice. Select the correct answer. Okay. I mean, I know most Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but it's the, like, game-unique questions I might need help with. Oh, uh, why? Well, I was saying, like, if there's a game-unique question, I might need help. You suck? I don't suck! You suck! I'm just kidding. Question one. Which is not a spirit monster? Um, hmm. Actually, I know a sewer priest is, huh, obviously Wing Ingle. Yeah, well, I don't know. That just feels like 
a bit. Is that the actual answer? I don't, I don't know spirit monsters that well. I didn't even know they existed until like, I don't know, when I was 19 and I saw like the Noah arc for the first time. I didn't even know they existed, so I guess it's wink. <sighs> yeah, I, I just realized Wing Eagle is a monster I literally have. So why did I not know that answer? Which letter is in the Destiny Boy message? Obviously A. That's not even hard. Final. Which monster is a water attribute? Lakunga, I think, is the name. Lakunga, I think. Which is not an Ojama trio. Green is. Black is. Yellow is. Isn't there a blue Oj No. Not yet. Uh, this is, a uh, That will come later. Oh, question five. Harpy Lady are how many sisters? I have blisters. <laughs> Me too, game. I have blisters too. Uh, the Harpy Lady sisters is technically three. Although you could argue that there's more, but... Three. Well, it started off as three, right? And there's Harpy Lady 1, Harpy Lady 2, Harpy Lady 3. I guess, even if you count Harpy Girl, that's only four. At the time of, like, GX, there was Harpy Girl, and that's it. Cyber Harpy Lady counts as just Harpy Lady. So, that doesn't count. So, it, it'd have to be three, right? Unless I'm missing something and I just don't remember. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Can I duel you? I'm just gonna... I Let's duel. I I'll pick paper. Wow. I lost. Well, wait a s- Okay, wait a second. Okay. So, in terms of Harpy Ladies, right? Harpy ladies didn't really get support until... Why are their character sprites different from yours? Well, they're meant to be different students. Plus, it's... It's easier to give them looks. It's easier to give them looks since... There were characters... No, I, I know with the look of... Oh. Well... Oh, that's because of the uh, that's because of the HD texture mod. That's not the game. Uh, they I guess the people who worked on the textures didn't uh, update these guys. I guess. Yeah, that's that's what it is. That's not the game. That's normally mine would look just as pixelated as this one. So that, yeah, that's not the game. That's uh, that's just a uh, the. You know, texture thing. I can technically destroy this this turn and just go after him. Bye bye. What is this? Oh, three legged zombie. Alright. Our style even looks kind of different. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure of the details for the HD textures, but I assume they redrew them or just AI upscaled them. I think it's AI upscale, but. I don't know. Play your last pathetic card. Deep. I don't have any pathetic cards, Avalon. I have no pathetic cards in my deck. Oh, <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna stick with it. I have no pathetic cards in my deck. Hot agreed, okay. Hmm. What shall I do? Impossible! <laughs> Nanny? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have summoned that, but I was trying to... I was trying to... Be clever. Wow, it literally had zero <laughs> defense! 
Uh, Exodia do the obliteration attack. Exoto Flame. I think that's what it's called in the Japanese. Exoto Flame. I don't like that name. I prefer Obliterate over Exoto Flame, personally. I think that's what it's called, right? Exoto Flame? Something like that. No one's ever been able to... Yeah, that's one... You know, that's one thing about the anime that I find kind of weird. Because one thing I noticed is that... If you look at the Duelist Kingdom mark while they're on the boat, you see a bunch of kids with, like, Exodia pieces. Granted, it didn't say... They didn't have all of them. But I do find it very odd that... It, well, actually, no, never mind. Because I just realized, um... I almost forgot. And it's something it's something that's passed over in the dub, but... They focus a lot more on the sub on this, that... The game just got... Basically just got created. Or just got mainstream, so actually, it does make sense. It does make sense that no one was able to summon Exodia. Hell, it makes sense that there was even only three blue eyes. I mean, they probably just got printed, right? I... I think that's how that works. It, if the game just started getting mainstream, it would be very likely that there was only three of them. I think, anyway. That seems to make... That seems to make sense to me. Yeah, I don't know, like, in the dub, it's kind of just, like, thrown out there, but, like, they focus a lot more on... Yeah, no, exactly, like, the, the dub just, like, throws it out there, like, oh, because the game just started, like, oh, that's a pretty big detail that you're just schmoozing on over, because, like, now people are like, how does that make any sense that there's only three of them, like, yeah, like, I, as a kid, I thought that, as a kid, I thought, how is there only three blue eyes, but now that I actually, to be, okay, to be fair to the dub, I did actually hear that, like, later. I did hear, like, Pakora say that, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. But the sub focuses a lot more, again, it focuses a lot more on that, because they keep mentioning it throughout, like, Duelist Kingdom, like, uh, oh, uh, this is the first, uh, I think when, uh, Weevil won in the sub, it was, like, the first, uh, uh, champion of this part of Japan, or something like that. And I think as well, in a flashback with uh, Kaiba and Pegasus in the sub, uh, Pegasus, like, thanked Kaiba for the uh, virtual stuff. Saying, like, it will really help my game, like, take off. So, I don't remember if that happened in the dub, to be fair, but I do not remember that happening. If it did, it was very obscure. And it probably was, like, again, just, like, thrown out there. Either way, just something I, I kind of forgot for a second. I don't know. It's very weird. I never understand why the dub just, like, has this whole thing where it just throws details like that. Just like, oh, yeah, like, uh, this is something. Anyway, like, you know, it's, it's just weird. I mean, why have it in the dialogue at all? It's weird. You got a 100%. Oh, uh, what was that, Suika? Uh, you said something about how I suck. Um, 100%. Hmm. Interesting. I'm so good. Hmm. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, let me get out of here. Hmm. What does that sound even from? Uh... Actually, okay, I, I think I remember uh, in GX that Pharaoh would sometimes be in uh, Chaz's room. I I find it a cute detail that he's in here. I find it cute. Take my tofu. You know, what's going on, Chaz? Look, D606, answering one or two of your questions is a pain. Come back when you have four. I take that back. One question's plenty for you. Don't forget who your tag force partner is. What do you want to talk about? Um, the game being new makes it a little less funny that Joey has no idea how to play, though. Like, it makes more sense with the opening of the show just being him learning the game. If it's new, but it's funnier if he's just really bad at games. Well, to be fair, I mean... You could argue that it still works either way. I mean... Like... 
it, sure, the game was new, but Yugi was as as decent as he was, even though the game was new. And you have a bunch of other people. Like, I mean, think about it this way, right? Uh, what about Weevil and Rex? They were champions, and the game was new. So, I mean, it still kind of works, doesn't it? I mean, to be fair, I guess you could argue that, like, Yugi, Weevil, and Rex just have significantly more tact when it comes to strategy, but... Joey literally didn't even have any... I think the four guys are thinking dumb Brooklyn kid. I Well, I, to be fair, the sub still kind of has them like that. It, it just... I don't know. The sub still has them, like, kind of stupid, but I think it's just that... I don't know. Thinking about it in the sub, he kind of... It kind of does sound like Joey is... He's blessing. He is blessing. It's cute. I Something funny as well. I don't know where the Brooklyn thing came from because... Is it... Wait a second. Let me make sure. Let me fact check this real quick. Uh, I'll be. Give me a second. It it is pretty cute. I like I like <laughs> it is a cute look for Chaz. Give me just a second. I'm looking up something. Journey P. Home. Shit. There it is. Um. Okay, so I guess he actually was from uh Brooklyn. Chaz cannot resist the D666 Riz. No one can resist my Riz. Just ask my wife, who's not here right now. She's at work. I forget. She comes home super late. But yeah, so I guess he was actually from Brooklyn. I honestly think uh, Joey's voice in the sub is funnier because since Yu-Gi-Oh! does take place in japan i i think their voices in general are funnier pegasus as much as i love his dub voice i like his sub voice better because he's from america and sometimes he just says american words out of nowhere and i find that shit fucking funny it's hilarious i love it he's like god damn it's hilarious i love i love his i love pegasus's uh japanese voice And I think it makes more sense because, again, the dub never really tells the audience that it's in Japan. As far as as far as you're concerned, this is in America for all you fucking know. The only really, like, the only real argument you can make is that Bandit Keith has an American flag. But, like, it's never once stated, or at least barely. Like, I, I've looked and I've looked in the dub. I rewatched the dub. And I don't think I saw one situation where it was ever mentioned that it was in Amer it, that it was in Japan. I didn't even know that Pegasus was American. I thought he was from Japan. Like after I found out that it was in Japan, until I I watched the sub and he actually said Pegasus. Taya said that Pegasus is American. That's why he wrote in English. And I was just like, wow. Uh, I don't I don't know. I actually watched the dub too recently, and I could not find one time where they mentioned that it was in Japan. I couldn't find it. If someone can find it, then they're a better man than me. Because I tried. I, I couldn't find it. Or at least not anything like immediate. I'm sure maybe it was somewhere, but I I just, I couldn't. And I just find that weird. I guess, to be fair, you could argue that it kind of looks like Japan, so I guess it should have been implied. But I, I just... I, the more I, like... The more I've compared the dubs to, to the subs, like, the more confused I just get. Because it, it's like, why? Why did you do this? I, I don't understand. I, I don't I don't get it. Like, I, I don't... Is that too much? Am I being, like, too pushy? I, I, I just find it weird. I, I don't know. 
I guess I understand in terms of localization some things, but like, if these are core parts of the story, I feel like that's important. Like, Pegasus being Amer American is a core part of the story, I think, because the fact that his history, I mean, his like backstory revolves around him traveling to different places. I feel like that's a pretty important part of Pegasus's character that you just kind of like steamrolled, right? Is that just me? I don't, I don't know. Is that just me or what? That's uh, whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go for now. I mean, what could I do here? I I don't really need uh Sakuretsu armor, all things considered. But I I'm not sure if I wanna get rid of it either. Well it's already too late now, so I mean I'll go for it. Hmm. He's got Cyberstein now, so he could Yeah, right. Um, how is this card not banned in this era of the game? Wall revealing light. Oh. Well, there goes his chance of uh, using Cyberstein. I mean, I guess it was going to die either way, but. I mean, damn. You're really that desperate, dude? I forget he does this. Like... Speaking of cards I didn't know that existed... You wanna know something? I would've liked Pegasus to be British because it makes so much sense for Brit to awaken. <laughs> Egyptian monsters and magic. Given the fact that we stole all their artifacts. Oof. I don't know much about British history, but... Uh, that... <laughs> That sounds hilarious. I I don't know. What could I do here? I could just straight up destroy all of our cards. I'll go for it. Yeah, now you just lost 3,000 life points. For no damn reason. And it didn't even do you any good. As I was saying, I didn't know for the longest time that their, like, wall of revealing light existed. I didn't know that existed until, like, I think I saw a video, like, a couple years ago about, uh, different, uh, card iterations, and I think I heard about it. I didn't know it existed for a while. Pretty cool concept, though. I mean, you give up life points and all that. Oh. Nice. Every part of our history will stay back. Oh, look, a new country. Fade said country. Rule over them. Steal all their shit and leave. Thought you'd have. And then uh, the step six. Thought you'd have cooler shit. <laughs> I thought you, uh, I thought you would have cooler shit later. Cause it's not enough. I mean, sure, bud. Whatever works for you. Optional step seven, sell their shit back to them. <laughs> uh, is, wait, was it, what did they do? What did the Britons do, right? Didn't the... Didn't the Britons try and, like, sell, like, opium, I think it was, to, uh, Japan or something? Something like that. Nice. Okay. Good draw. Put that in defense mode. Oh, 
Or was it opium or was it something else? I, I kind of can't remember. It's been a while since I... We did a history on Japan, but I, I think it was something like that. I'd have to look it up later because it's kind of bothering me. Destroy China with opium. I. So was I right? I, it's been a while. I don't entirely remember. I'm gonna go for it. This might be dumb, but I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Black Magician! Watch him get another lightning vortex and destroy it. Oh, it's just a set card. Okay, well, I'm not gonna listen to just, but... Um... We got Magician's Valkyria. Oh. Solemn Judgment. Okay. Well, bye-bye to her, I guess. Sorry, Magician's Valkyria. What is this? Was that Jalgan the Spiritualist? I think that was. I didn't check. China was a big power at the time, but one of the colonies was set up in their land like Hong Kong. A Brent basically said, we'll give you this medicine if you let us keep. Oh, uh, okay. I see. I'm gonna summon another one? Yeah. I mean, you're a call, man. That wasn't very smart. Honestly... Honestly, Woody, you should've just, like, not summoned anything. I didn't tell them it would completely wreck their lives and economy. <laughs> right. I mean, that surprise opium will probably do that to you. I don't know what I'm. What do I want to do now? I mean, hey Crowler, you wanna you wanna duel a couple times? Our Cronus de Melici. You know, probably nobody knows that, like, I think Crow is, I think Crowler is supposed to be Italian. Because his Japanese name is uh, Cronus de Melici, which is apparently an Italian name. Either he's supposed to be Italian or his name is just ironic. But considering his Japanese voice, I, I think it's fair to say he's meant to be Italian. Which I think is butchered by freaking Goku's voice actor voicing him. I don't understand the the dub choice behind that. I mean, but I guess he would have been pretty popular. I guess John Smell would have been pretty popular at the time, right? Really? Italian? Well, I mean, again, like literally listen to his voice. Like it sounds. Gotta go six six. See a corpse. See you around. It's nice to have you here. I uh, hope work treats you well. I, I mean. Again, I'm gonna- uh, let me search it up. Cause the show never said if he was from Italy or not. In sub nor dub it. And it never said, but... I think as well, like, Ancient Gear Golem, that kinda reminds me of, of Italy, right? Like, the Renaissance? Like, doesn't that kinda remind you of Italy a little bit? Like, maybe I'm reaching there, but that's- that's what I figured, cause like, his name... And I know for- oh shit, sorry, I hit my mic. I know for certain that, like, his name is Italian. His last name is Italian. And, like, Ancient Gear Gollum kind of reminds me of, like, a Renaissance theme, which also fits for Italy. So let me search it up, actually. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is... It just never really said in the show if he was or not. Um... Okay, so it doesn't say. 
The show never says, but um, since Napoleon is French and uh, Kronos and Napoleon have like a huge rivalry, I'm going to assume he's from Italy. You know, Italy, France. You get the idea. I'm going to assume that he is. Sue me. Bye bye. Play this. I'll uh, play Pot of Greed. And I guess uh, set this and then maybe set this as well. I guess we're seeing a non Latino Italian. I mean. I don't know about I don't know about that. I don't know Italy that well, so please let me Oh fuck. <laughs> I literally got mage power immediately after. But I mean it's cool, I guess. I got to summon a... Uh... What's his face? I hope this face down is not Cyber Jar or something worse. Oh good. That's fine. Can I just say I love Prowler's Japanese voice, by the way? It's funny. I love his voice. It's very... <laughs> his voice kind of reminds me of a JoJo character, and I wonder if, like, his actor in Japan is, like, a JoJo actor. Because he does... He does those things, like, that JoJo characters do, where, like, they just ran make random noises out of nowhere, like, or something. It's hilarious. I, I don't know. I just... Oh, damn. He took my Dark Magician. Italians tend to be more tanned, but I can have fear. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's just... Funny. <laughs> he does that. I, I gotta search up if his actors has done any JoJo stuff. I wouldn't be surprised. I think I won here. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might have won. Oh, uh, Avalon and Suika, if you're here. Since you're here, let me ask. Who do you think is, uh, Jaden's rival? Zane or, uh, Chaz? Who do you think? I'm interested to hear, because I got a... I got a comment on my YouTube channel about it, and I'm curious. We had a little debate about it. So what do you guys think? Zane or, uh, Chaz? I'll tell you mine... Uh, when you guys tell me what you think. If you can answer that, of course. If you can't, then never mind. But I'm just curious. Any VOD watchers watching this on YouTube, uh, tell me as well. I want to say Chaz, but rivals will match me. Rivals. Okay. I don't know if Sweek is here, but I'll wait for a bit. I've already dueled you ten times. I've dueled you 150 times. Nova. Nova is just like, I, I don't think Nova ever wants to duel me again. Okay. We'll just uh, skip to class, I guess. Shit, my bad. Oh, no, I did it again. Yes, I, I do want to skip to class. Okay, students, I'll begin my lecture on dual theory. Oh, shit. Professor Sartier, this is my class. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Crowler. I'm Professor Lyman Banner. Don't want to say these lessons. All right. Um, I kind of feel like dueling Alexis right now. Alexis! Scissors. Sure, whatever you say. Uh, I play Skull Dark Magician first. And maybe play Potter Greed to get a spell counter on him. And I'll play this. And that'll end my turn. Okay, so I've waited for a bit. I'm, I, in my opinion, I would say it's Jazz because the thing about Zane is that Zane, it's not really a rivalry. Jaden has never really beaten Zane, not once, and it's not about like victories either. But it's the fact that like it, it's made very clear that like Zane was considered more of a pillar than anything else. And he eventually ends up passing the torch to him and acknowledges to Zane acknowledges to Jaden that like he's reached his limit, but Jaden hasn't. So to me, Zane is more of a pillar character, whereas Chaz is someone who consistently wants to better himself by doing Jaden, even if he doesn't word it that way. So I would say it's Chaz, all things considered. But I don't know, that's just my view on it. That, that's what I think. I wonder what the space down is. Oh, can I summon a... Oh, shit, I can. Alright. I'll summon Dark Magician, then. And I'll attack with the... Uh, you first. I think Jane is Chaz's rival, but I think Zane is Jane's... Yeah, that... What? Wait, what what are you doing? Oh, that destroys the monster. That makes sense, never mind. I thought like I forgot it destroyed the monster. And I was about to say, like, you get a card from that. Plus it didn't even do any damage to you, but yeah, that makes sense. Good move, Alexis. Good move. I could always bring it back. They're Clonus monsters. You see, the problem is that. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Okay, let's try not to end this duel too quickly, eh? And you know, as it is, I'm kind of making a UV deck anyway, to be honest. The more I look at my deck. It's pretty close. I'll be in some alterations. Play one monster. That will be you. Have you ever played Pokemon Black or White? That might be another way to look at 
two rivals. Darren is always ahead of you and Bianca is always behind you on the journey. Yeah, that's a pretty... I haven't played those games. I have... Uh, Pokemon games are actually on my list. Once I finish... Uh, once my wife finishes showing me uh, the Pokemon anime, because she's actually putting, uh, showing me through it, I'm going to play Pokemon games. So I will eventually play those once I finish watching the anime for the first time. I... As a kid, I used to watch the Pokemon 2000s movie, but that was it. So I'm actually getting into Pokemon. I will play those games. Eventually. But yeah, that, that's actually a good way to look at it. That's a pretty good perspective. One is always ahead, one is always behind. That's pretty good. Hey, Chaz, wanna duel? Where are you? Here we are. This is the Obelisk Dorm. I'll be waiting here, so go and take a look around. Alright. Anything. I'll be looking forward to DC Pokemon Let's Plays then. A lot of people have, actually. Like, a lot of the, like, streamers that, like, I've connected with over time, a lot of them play Pokemon. They, like, know I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, so, like, they've suggested it to me. Like, a lot of people have, honestly. Rock. So this is either Rock. They probably expect me to do... Scissors, right? Oh, damn. He actually faked me out. I'm sure I'll get to it sometime. Hmm. And then my turn. Maybe I should just hit Solemn Judgment? I don't know. Oh. No. Please. Please do. You get your Ojama? Sure, yeah. Oh, you got a cyber jar. <laughs> That's not good. And I didn't get any monsters. <laughs> well, good thing I said, uh, to be fair, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon are two of the pillars in Western normie anime pants. What's natural for people to like to push with others? Yeah. I have a lot of cards in my hands. Well, first off, let me get rid of all your spells and traps. Oh, I forgot he got Mesh Jammer. Well, cool. Nah. I'll activate this next. Oh shit, I'm gonna have so many cards in my hand! I'm gonna have so many cards in my hand! No! This isn't good. Oh, crap. Well, uh... Okay. So he has Dark Hole. Uh, okay, well, wait. I think I can do something with this. I think... I could maybe... Clutch this entire duel here and now. 
if I get super lucky. So let me see. I'll give up, uh... Wait a second. How many dragons does he have in his graveyard? Oh, shit. Um, I mean, he's at 8,000 anyway, but... Uh, two. So that's... Um, how much is he supposed to play to get? Five, ten. Six. He does have Dark Hole in his hand, so... I can't really, uh too much with that, but... Hmm. If I do this, activate Hot Agreed. Then I activate Reasoning. Hopefully I get something good with this. Even if I don't, it's not that big of a deal, but... Six? Ah! Alright. Sacred to armor, and then all right. How much do I do? He's gonna destroy all these guys next turn, so. No, I don't finish him, but I'm very close. I'm very, very close. I'm like, I'm 400 points away. In one turn. That's pretty good. This card from my hand. Well, I get rid of you. About time you jazz it up, huh? He's got Dark Hole in his hand, so I know we'll just use that. Yeah, exactly. That's Q. I'm gonna try this first. He can't attack anyway. Does this go through? Good submarine draw. draw. Uh, Suiko would be proud that I finished the battle with the drill. I mean, Roid monster. Suiko would be proud. No need to call me a loser, Chaz. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, is anything gonna happen between this time? That would be very nice. Like, when is Titan gonna show up? He should have by now, in my opinion, but when is he gonna show up? I'm gonna end the day. I had three emails. Come see me. At four o'clock this afternoon. Go to the forest. 6.30 tonight. And then four o'clock this afternoon. Alright. I'm 
I'm gonna skip ahead and go. I'll check the store real quick first, but. What's at the store today? Whoops. What's at the store today? Uh, same deal. Uh, try five of these. Maybe six. I said maybe six, but I just go to ten. Nine's good enough. Maybe bye. Good enough. All I need is snatch steel and one more card, and I think I got everything in this pack. No such luck. No, oh, I thought that was the last one. No such luck. Hmm. Stop going so fast so I can just see what I got. Soul Tiger. Outstanding Dog Marin, Ring of Defense, Thousand Eyes Idol, Soul Tiger again, Unhappy Girl, Royal Magical Library, that's not too bad. Did I have that? I did. Soul Tiger. Huh. Uh Sure. Then that's it. Did I get it? I didn't even get a new card. Some for a couple of these. I got here. Oh shit. Okay. Doom Dozer. Hmm. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Go to a class. Man, uh, skip the class again. Let me make sure I read my emails real quick. Let's see. You want to meet at 6, you want to meet at 4, and Chaz wants to meet at 4. You want to meet at the forest, you want to meet at the beach. Okay. Talk. Skip the class. We will study the Philosopher's Stone at the- Oh. Okay. Yeah, same conversation. Yeah, we're done with Sazel's. Yeah, sure. Let's get out of here. Jazz. You're there. Wait, actually, real quick, let me save state. Because I don't know if this is going to be a thing that lasts the whole day. Let me see. 
Where are you? Which ass? You're late. How dare you come after me? Anyway, I just want to work with you. Well, you don't have a choice. Okay. Cyrus? How you doing? Flying discus. Hey, you came. I'm gonna duel with a bunch of- Yeah, okay, new rules. 4,000 life points, 5 minutes. Okay. Scissors. Oh, damn. You caught me there. You caught me. Okay. A widespread ruin. Set this. Mm. I mean, all things considered, that'd probably be the better move. Premature burial isn't really helping me here. Activate your effect and get Chainsaw Insect out. Where you at? Art. Yeah. That's the right move. Then I'll... End my turn. Yeah, uh, no thank you. That's a clever move, though, on uh, Cyrus's part, actually. Clever move. Plus, he does get a card. That's probably the card he pulled. Now I'm wishing I did, a. Uh... Now I'm wishing I did, a. Uh... What's it called? The set solemn judgment. I'm gonna set it now. Oh, fair enough. Oh, hey Cyrus. Cyrus is popping up right now. Suiko would be proud. Oh, that's gonna sing, Cyrus. You clearly just aren't Yugi enough. I mean, I'm, I haven't lost yet. Well, that did put a sting in my plans. Okay. Well, let's see. Three. Oh, it was just three. Yeah, definitely not enough. 19, 14. Uh, it should be fine. Summon Gemini Elf. Then in my turn, because there's nothing I can do right now.
Oh, also, hi, by the way, rookie. Sorry I didn't uh, greet you. That's so rude of me. Hope you're having a good Friday. Hope everything's going good. Hope the... That, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I have a clever joke. But hope every, hope uh, your day's going well. Or good. Uh, clever. Yeah, going good. Just back from playing card games myself. Ooh, nice. Which one? Cyrus is kind of cooking me right now. Okay. Hmm. Magic the Gathering. Oh, nice. Okay, how many monsters do I have? Two. Um, summon this, then I'll attack with uh, this first. Yeah, you go down. I haven't checked much with Magic the Gathering. How's that game evolved over time? Okay, um... Well, I'll attack with you. It's not going to take a lot for either of us to be beaten, so it's pretty wild, but I play two silly commander. Oh, okay. What? What does that say? Oh, okay. That's all I can do for now. Mr. Burial, he'll probably bring back a uh, steamroid, yeah. Oh shit, I think he won. Yeah, he won. <laughs> Alright, Cyrus. Alright, Cyrus. I respect it. I respect it, Cyrus. You did it. I'm not even mad. You won! Good job, Cyrus. See, Gabri, your ego was your downfall. I was just saying that, like, I hadn't lost yet. Like, the duel wasn't decided. It's not decided until the last life point hits zero. But I wasn't... I wasn't really trying to be egotistic. I, I know I know it was just a joke. I'm just saying. Uh, let, me, uh, let me pay him back, though, because I can't end it like that. I'm proud of you, Cyrus. I love you, Cyrus, and I, I, I wish I wish you well. Well, first off, um... Honestly, twenty eight, right? All right, Cyrus, your move. Show me what you got. I'll activate it now, yeah. Summoner Priest. Uh, I'll keep that in my hand. Alright. Let's see. I mean, honestly, Steamroid with Mage Power is pretty good, because... 
he'll be put down to like 23, right? But that's still pretty good. And with uh, his power, I mean, with his effect, what does he go up to? 500? 233? I can pretty much, well, steam through anything he has. So we really are just like full steam ahead here. Well, future fusion is useless, so... Let me take advantage of Summoner Monk's ability here. What should I play? How about... Yeah, just paint side stick, I guess. Sorry, just checking something real quick. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, just same deal. Steamroid, full steam ahead! And I'll end my turn. I wonder if uh, Roids will ever get any support again. That would be fun. I think the Roids are interesting. Actually. Um, actually? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. Bye. What's your deck focus? Um... It's mostly uh, spellcasters, but I, I have the roids thrown there in spirit because I have Love on Master to play my Exodia deck. My Mine is mainly spellcasters, but I do have the roids thrown in there just because we love Cyrus. But other than that, it's mostly, uh, it's mostly a spellcaster beater. I try and use cards like... I'll pull my deck up real quick so I can explain in detail. Not just be an idiot. I, uh, uh, I want to say Spellcaster, but kind of like Yugi slash Spellcaster deck. I got a lot of uh, things that, like, get rid of traps and shit. The most, like, out-of-pocket thing is the Future Fusion with the Roids. But other than that, like, that's what I'd say. Or actually, I guess I could just say Beater. It's mostly a Beater deck. I use things like Summoner Monk to get monsters as fast as possible. Got things like Mage Power, even if I don't, like... Mostly just a beater deck. Nothing, like, terribly complex. Alright. Ruler of Machines. Let's have a dual Ray. Ray Palpatine. Uh... Oh, uh, speaking of Master Duel, didn't, uh, didn't, uh, Dragon Master Magia just come out on Master Duel a couple days ago? If you know, uh, Rookie, because I would like to know. I don't play Master Duel, but that's interesting if it did. My wife got me uh, a couple of the pet. Battles of Legend, and I could not pull it. I heard it's a rare card. No idea. Oh, alright. I'll try and look it up later, I think. I hop in from- Oh, you hop in from time to time. It's not like a- Okay. Well, shit, I could- Let me, uh- I pull Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't- Oh, I, I see. Yeah, never mind then. I just collect the cards. 
Mm, Magic is a better card game, in my opinion. I can see that. I haven't played Magic in a while. I mostly just collect the cards. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Leg cramp. No. <laughs> I hate these. God. Oh. Give me a minute. Oh, God, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> Stuart, uh, I can't even read right now. It hurts. I think it's okay. <laughs> that hurt. God. Okay, I'm good. I'm good? I'm good. Oh, God. That hurt. Streamer dead, she's what you said. That hurt. I'm literally sweating. That hurt so bad. Oh, I hate those. Oh, God. I, you know, one time I was sleeping and I was sleeping. Herb T666 gone but not forgotten. Honestly, it hurts so much. Like, I had one that was, like, I was sleeping, and I had one, and it was so bad. It was the middle of the night, 4 o'clock, and out of nowhere, I could just... I can still hear his voice, he's still with us. Come on, I'm still here. Come on. Boy, like, seriously, though, like, it hurt... Oh, shit. Duelist 07. Oh, fuck. Damn. That's gonna sting. This is gonna sting. He was so lucky he pulled that. Anyway. But seriously though, like, I had one when I was sleeping and it was just so bad. Like, I I couldn't stand it. It Four o'clock. It was so bad. I, I hated every moment of it. Uh, okay. A fourth rate duelist with a first rate cramp. Where do you come up with these things? Okay, um, copycat. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. Let me test something here. Make sure this is how his effect works. I'm just naturally hilarious. That you are. Ah, oh, I love that emote. Okay. So next turn, I'll get my boy Jumbo Drill Roid. I can, uh... Oh, this card is terrible. Why would you use this? Why would you use this? Wow, he literally didn't have anything. Pity. Okay. Three, six, nine, twelve. I mean, honestly, just summon this instead. Well, anyway. You know, I just remembered, didn't uh, Copycat have the... Copycat was weird in the anime, because he could also, like, copy spells and traps. Like, I think they just released a version of Copycat that does that, with the Metamorph stuff I heard about. I don't know. It was weird. I think, though, I might be wrong there. I know they released Metal Morph stuff recently. I think it was before Dragon Master Magia and all those other ones. Something like that. I haven't. I'm, like I. I've just been looking at the cards and collecting them. I have a lot of the new U Bell cards, but I. I don't really know everything. Uh. Okay, so I need to. I need to go waste some time and then meet. Her at the volcano at 6.30. I 
bet you forgot you were supposed to meet me at the volcano tonight. I still think it's super dangerous to have a volcano at a school. But that's just me. Oh, she's there. Boy! Uh, so you came. I'm gonna duel with a bunch of new rules soon, like time limits on each turn and different- Yeah, you gotta get it. I wanna do some training. Sure. I pick rock. Oh, sorry. Uh, go first. Alright, Alexis. Let's get it started. Okay, so, uh... I'll set negate attack. Perfect timing. Hi, Mickey. Welcome on in. I'll, uh... I don't really want to get rid of anything, though. I'll just summon, uh... I'll put him in the graveyard. Summon both of these. Then I'll end my turn. What you got? Okay. I, maybe I shouldn't have said negate attack because I thought she was just going to destroy it, but I mean. Well, let's see what happens. Ah, I see. Well, it was still a good move. Sort of. Is that a new deck for Lex? Yes, it is. Uh, this is her second deck, I believe. I will. What should I get out of this? I think. Honestly, probably Chaos Necromancer in a minute with how my luck is going with this. Let's see. What is this? And then attack her with this. Then in my turn, I still got negate attack. Yes. Portions of the army. That's not a cyber girl. You're lied to me. No. What's the time for? Oh, uh, this is a challenge duel. She wants to challenge us under a time limit and, like, under 5,000 life points. That's the deal. Bye. What was that? Oh, that was Mystical Space Typhoon itself. I don't know why she didn't use that. Is 
seven, fourteen. I have three counters, right? Destroy that. I'm not sh This won't finish her off, but it'll be close. Oh, actually, it does finish her off. Never mind. Never mind. I win. The fact that I beat Alexis on this, like, restriction, but not Cyrus, is kind of crazy. But I guess, to be fair, like, I just had a better setup here. Anyway. Oh, by the way, uh, I beat this guy. This guy has Final Countdown. I beat him. Amazing. To be fair, I kind of did save scum a little bit, but... It was just testing. I'm still gonna count it. Because it means my deck could beat him under the right circumstance, and I think that's good enough for me. Although, I again, like, I don't count it too much. Because I did save scum. A little bit. It's tag duel day. Jaden, I don't want you to be my partner. Can someone else be my partner, please? Fine. Suika, if you ever come back, you need to tell me how to switch partners, because I don't like Jaden as my tag partner. He's a fucking idiot, and he does stupid shit all the time. And no, that's not what Jaden is like. He's smart, and he is good at dueling tactics. He wouldn't put everything into attack position when it did. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is dumb. Uh, it's AI. I get it. God damn. Moses versus Terrence. What kind of name is Moses? For like a kid's name. Who names their kid Terrence? I mean... Freaking... Moses. I'm sure there are... I think the friend with the most hearts is going to be a tag partner. Well, all of them have the most hearts, so that's kind of... I think it was the last one that you did, because before Chaz, it was uh, Jaden. Because all of them have full hearts. So... The game is just picking Jaden, I guess. Which I, I don't mind, but I mean... Also, I, I've seen videos, I'm pretty sure you can choose your tag partner. Okay. Okay, good. I was about to say. I mean... Yeah, what were you thinking, dude? And why do you have him in attack anyway? God. Yeah, wait. Uh, Jaden. This isn't smart, dude. Wait, look at that! Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna flash into it. Okay. But fine. Whatever. First off. Change you to defense position, as you should be. Next. I'm gonna play reasoning for myself. Come on. Ha! I'm actually... No, I'm gonna set you an attack position. And then, for me, Alexis has the most hearts since you always want to tag duel. Oh. I'm sure she'd be a fun partner. Fun tag partner, right? I'll, uh, summon copycat, and copy him. Why not? 
I can guarantee you get some hits here. Jaden's dumbass is going to switch this into attack position as soon as he gets the chance because he's an idiot, but I mean, whatever, I guess. Ikuzo? Ordeal of the Traveler. Yes. Worst case scenario, it gets destroyed. Damn, he guessed it. And all I have is monster cards, so fuck. Oh well. It's not a big deal. <sighs> this dude. I hate his healing shit. And why would you put that in attack position? She's worse than Jaden. Always sacrifices it all. Oh, okay. So she's worse. Oh, fuck. See, Jaden, why would you put him... Oh, okay. Thank God he, he didn't attack. Why would you put him in attack position? Because now he can destroy our one wall. Like, what is wrong with you? Please let this go through. Great, Jaden. Great. <sighs> My god. This makes me mad. We lost our main wall because of this idiot. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen hundred. Not enough. This card must attack, if possible. Well... I'll set this. And honestly, at this point... Let me just... Destroy this. Mutual destruction. Now, Jaden, don't flip this up, okay? I really wish the AI was better. I wish someone would do a mod to, like, fix the AI like they did with Dukes of the Roses. I mean... Nah. That was really dumb. I don't understand why he did that. Now activate it. Please don't guess monster. Yeah, I figured. Shit. That's a yikes. Why would he? He knows all I have is monster card. Shit. Jaden, why would you? Jaden! Moses would be a good partner for Alexis. Jaden, you idiot! Why do you keep. You could get any of your elemental heroes and you choose Clayman? You already have a Clayman on the field! You could have. And you have Palmerization in your hand! You could have got. You could have. You could have gotten Sparkman, and then you could have used the Palmerization to fucking make elemental hero. Uh, what, what is his name? The Thunder Giant. What? Okay. I'm sorry, that made me so mad. That made me so mad. That... <sighs> really? Okay. Alright. Fucking Christ. This dude is a fucking moron. And what's the point of having another Clayman anyway? It's not like it's strengthening our defenses. Like, what is it doing for us? 
You know why? Why? I want to know. Like, literally... <laughs> What do I have? What do we have in the graveyard? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay, actually, okay. Chaos Necromancer will do us some good now. No. Twenty-one hundred. Okay. But tell me why. I need to know. Awesome. For what it's- Okay, I guess Jaden ends up helping me with Chaos Necromancer, but only because he's an idiot. What? what did, wait, what does this do? When this card destroys a monster and sends it to the graveyard, increase your life points. By the level, the monster times 300. Moses always healing. Well, let's just check right. Oh, yeah, I know why for that. I know why for that. That totally makes sense. I agree. I'll go for it. Even though I know it will just get some monsters, but it doesn't matter. Jaden, don't flip the Claymans up. There is no point. There is no point to doing it. 1600 attack is not worth putting us at risk. Don't do it. Okay, good. You could have done this earlier, but whatever. I'll take it. Good job. Oh, of course he did. Was it worth it, Jaden? Was 800... To... Whatever. I'm sorry. The AI in this game makes me mad sometimes, just because of how dumb it is. On the plus side, his move did, uh... Power up Chaos Necromancer. Chaos Necromancer is coming in handy. I think I'll stick with him. He's coming in handy right now. Oh, shit. I guess I should put some healing cards in my deck. Uh, healing cards aren't really good, but... I mean, I guess you could do that. I mean... Here. No. Wait. Scouting one card from my hand. Oh, hell yeah. Wait. Just to make sure. With attack less than the attack of this card. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Because that'll also power up Chaos Necromancer. Thirty-six hundred. I can just kill you right now. Yeah, Chaos Necromancer is definitely staying in my deck. He's, like, level 1, so I can use him all the time. And like, yeah, true, when he's in my hand most of the time, he might be a bit of a brick. But, I mean, I mean, not really a brick, just, like, not that great at the time. But, overall, he's handy. Woody! Paper. We'll go first. I'm so hot right now. Hey, Mickey, how hot is it for you? Uh, I mean, in like, in terms of weather, how hot is it for you? It's 90 degrees Fahrenheit here. And my room doesn't have AC right now. We haven't... Me and the missus haven't really set it up yet. Skyscraper. I might duel Jaden a couple times. 
Rainfall in the morning, so it's cool out here. Ooh, that sounds nice. It rained here, but it was hot and humid, so it sucked. Oh, wow. Well, Jaden, I don't think he... Well, wait, what did he... What did he summon? I forgot what he summoned. And a swift deck. Yeah, his deck is annoying. I know it is. What did he summon? Oh, never mind. That makes sense. I thought he had Flame in on the field, but actually that, that adds up. Diffusion. Is that this? Uh, yeah, no. Tricky. Uh, his deck is annoying. I'll summon Magician's Valkyria. Oh no, my hamster bit me. Oh no! Wait, you have a hamster? What's his name? Or her name? I love hamsters. Hamsters are cute. The closest thing that, like, I know is that... A ferret. My brother is a ferret. That's the closest thing I know to that. Gilbert, it's dwarf hamster. Aw, that's horrible. He ends me in seven turns. Well, I mean, I, I guess his deck is called the Swift Deck, so it adds up. I mean, I honestly pick Ordeal the Traveler instead, because... Aha! What'd you draw, Jaden? Use room coverage? Shit. what you get? Why does he always pick Clayman? I don't understand it. He's new, so he's getting. Oh, he's new. He just bought. Okay. Why does he always fucking pick Clayman? I don't get it, dude. Like seriously? Why Clayman? Hey, member Sparkman. Okay, but rookie, the problem is I would be okay with that, but he does. Uh, shit. He does it every single time. He will literally have a Clayman on the field, and then he'll get another Clayman. Like, it it's stupid. I understand the first time, but he'll do it every time. I don't think I've ever seen him get anything else. I don't think. Once. If I if he has, I don't remember it. Like, seriously. he He's ridiculous. Okay, let's see. All things considered, um... Uh, premature burial is not really doing me any good, so... I'm willing to get rid of it for... Chainsaw Insect. And also as well, like Rookie, I will say this. He will have, like, Burst Dinatrix in his hand, right? Feed him a sandwich and see what happens. But like, no, let me finish real quick. He one time I was dueling him, right? I mean, I I was I was dueling him as a tag partner, right? He has Burstinatrix in his hand, so I'm thinking, okay, get Avion to make Flame Wingman. Cause if he did that, like the monster wasn't that strong, so he could have gotten some good bird damage. He literally summons Clayman and then puts it in defense mode. That's how stupid he is. With like his that <laughs> What can I say? Like what <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm done, but I'm just, he makes me so angry. That's the kind of stupid shit he does. His AI is so trash, man. I'd slap him in the head, oh shit. I'd slap him in the head, but I don't think he understands the concept of pain. Clayman is kind of baller though. Ugh. Whatever. I mean, let me do this anyway, because either way it's gonna happen, so. He'll guess monster. Oh, he actually didn't guess monster, but. 
Okay. Jaden. Fuck. Wait, no, Jaden, set creature swap. Set it! Set it! If I was playing Modern Yu Gi Oh! and they were like picking elements of hero, it's Clay Man, then Bubble Man. Alright. I do like Bubble Man. Oh, fucking. Oh, God. Why didn't you set creature swap? Now you're gonna lose. Okay. Oh my god. Jaden has too many cards in his deck to get the cards that's OP. It, it, he really does. And when he does get what he needs, he's just an idiot with them. Honestly, okay. And Legacy of Duel Sparkman carried. I never played it. Fuck. Okay, so set. Last Magician. I'm actually gonna... I love it. I, I'll get to it. I have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! games on my list. You do the duels from the anime. That is cool. Because i also going to eventually play Pokemon games. And I've never played any of them. Except for like one I had as a kid on the GBA. And I don't even remember it. So. I'll, I'll get to a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! games eventually. But we'll see. I kind of... I tried uh, Capsule Monster Coliseum. And uh, what's it called? Uh, False Bound Kingdom, but I couldn't finish either of them. I got bored. Oh, fuck. Yeah, which one? Ordeal the Traveler. Figures. The Legacy of the Duel sounds interesting. Come on, Jaden. Show me what you got. Show me you have some. Okay, what you gonna get? Thank you! Thank you! He finally did it! He did it! He did it! Finally! He used that brain cell! Thank you! I'm proud of you, Jaden! You finally did it! I've never seen him do that once! Or maybe I have and I just don't remember, but like, I don't remember him ever doing that. He would always just get another fucking Clayman. Wait, what? It's probably... <laughs> Did he run out of Clayman in his deck? Probably. If he had another one, he'd pick it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Jaden. Wait, wait! What are you... <sighs> okay. What was the <laughs> This fucking man. As soon as I give him a moment of praise, he just sucks his thumb and fucking dumps. God damn it! Why would you do that? It's, uh... This is getting clipped. What the f- <laughs> Chat, why did he- Chat, why did he do this? Oh shit, did I get rid of the camera? Why did he do this? Like, what the fuck? What? Ugh. Jaden is on his way to play his fifth claim, man. <laughs> I love that emote. But, oh my god. If he, if, if he did a cypher slow, well, Mickey, if you were, if it were you, well, you would be screwed. Because look at what he did. That was not worth it. If he kept Clayman, he could have. <sighs> Whatever, dude. I'm so done. It wasn't worth it. Because now we're just screwed. There's literally nothing we can do. Right now. God. I don't understand, Jaden. Why would you do that? There was an infinite number of plays that you could have done, and you just had to pick the stupidest one possible. If 
Now, I will say this. If he... Well, actually, never mind. Because if he did that... Okay. I get to pick. I pick... And the, oh, of course. Yeah, if, if if it was to where, like, he would... Wait. Does this summon in face... Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. I'm good. I thought I was going to put him face-up attack. Then I would have been the stupid one, but no. I was right. Oh, my God. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wait, no! Oh, fuck. Now he is going to get the fucking hand refresh. This fucking idiot. Dude, really? Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe... Bubble man. What does that even make, actually? A steam healer? Well, great. It doesn't help us, Jaden. That doesn't help us at all. And you put... I'm so mad right now. And he has Morphing Jar in attack mode. Why? Yeah, Jaden, did you forget? This fucking moron, dude. I'm. S <laughs> Thanks, Steam Healer. You did absolutely nothing. Now I got this. And he gets a card. Great. Great. See? See, I could have used Morphing Jar. Instead of that fucking idiot, I could have used Morphing Jar. I could have used that. Because I could have gotten my hand refreshed, and I could have fixed this idiot's mistake. But of course, he got Morph. Uh, okay. I'll stop. I'm going to try and like focus on actually like turning this around, if I can. Which I don't think I can. I'm so screwed right now. I needed that hand refresh. Why didn't he attack it? There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Ugh. Oh, my god. And he has... What is he gonna do? Oh shit, what now? What? Did Jane remove Skyscraper? Uh, he had it and he used it earlier. What? Last will? It's not my turn, it's his turn. What are you- why? Why why- why would you do that? <laughs> he used it earlier and then it got destroyed. I guess we got some life points back, but we're just gonna lose him again when he attacks. Great. Thanks for nothing, Jade. I'm literally losing this duel because of him. Let me try and get rid of one of his cards. I picked this one. What is it? Ball revealing light? Well, he wasn't going to use that anyway, but... Ah, oh, Wait, what is his effect? When this card is on the field, neither player can normal summon, flip summon, or special summon any monsters. Dude, this is all I have. He freaking took my... Jaden freaking took my uh, morphing jar for himself and didn't do anything with it. And now I'm screwed. I'm screwed because of him. Jaden, it's a Fissile. I... 
do not trust you as a tag partner anymore. If you do not turn this shit around. But no, even Cyberjar won't help because he can't flip summon. Right? Oh, never mind. It worked. Okay, Jaden. You better make up for what you did. Okay, Wings for Evo. That. Uh, okay. What does he have? Damn, Rising Air Current helped him. He helped him a lot. It helped him a lot. Wait. Never mind. Aha! Hopefully that's not a trap card. Yeah, get rid of you first. You're a problem. And then... That's it. I have nothing in my hand. This duel has lasted 27 turns? Jesus Christ. I think we win this turn. Huh? Why did you bring two? It's okay. You're an idiot. Jaden, you're just a fucking idiot. Oh, thank you. You used your brain power again. You're gonna mess this up too? He only has 200 life points left, and he has a monster attack. Just do not mess. Jaden, are you serious? Why didn't? You... I'm so tired. Why didn't you just attack him? Why did you? <laughs> okay. What does no market go? The longest duel for me is 64 turns. Player ran out of card and I win. That's nice. I'm not even going to comment on that anymore. I'm so done. I... God. I can't believe I'm even considering dueling with Jaden again, but I'm doing it. Jesus fucking Christ. All it would have taken is... Oh shit, my wife's back. Give me a second, I'll be right back.
came back. She gave me some food. It was nice. As I was saying, um, I'm not even gonna comment on that anymore. Uh, so as I was saying, uh, to Mickey, that's 64 turns is a lot. And I just want to say real quick, it wasn't that big of a deal what Jade did. It was the fact that like the duel was already going for so long, and like there was no reason for him to do that. And as I was saying. All it would have taken is for that monster to be Cyberjar, and we would have been screwed. If that monster was not Mystic Tomato, and if it was Cyberjar, we would have been screwed. Now, granted, he didn't really have a Cyberjar, but I'm just saying, that's all it would have taken. He should have just taken the opportunity upright. That's what I'll say. And that's it. I'm done. That's all it would have taken. Jaden did not get a right hand here. Oof. Oh damn, Spring of Rebirth is a good counter to my uh, ordeal of the Traveler. But I mean... I'm actually, okay, I'm gonna use Different Dimension Capsule to get Future Fusion for Jaden. Then I'm gonna summon Chiron the Mage. Special summon uh, him. I, I want to consider not getting rid of Copycat, but... I'm gonna do it. I'm trying to be on the offensive anyway. Anyway. You're gonna get him back. I know the deal. Oh, he actually didn't. Okay. I probably agree with that choice. Oh, wait, oh, it happens at the end of the turn. Okay. Never mind. Got some water. <sighs> okay. Wait, why did- why did you do that? You already had a polymerization- okay. Whatever. You could have waited till you got something for that, but up to you, I guess, Jade. I'm done questioning his idiot moves. I should just expect it. Never see a fusion summon. I I have used future fusion a couple times, but that's it. I could use it now if I wanted. Speaking of which, I might actually do that. I've done it a couple times, Mickey, but I don't have many fusions that work with my deck right now. I think, honestly, I think Summon Priest would be good for Jaden, but I'm just not sure if he'll survive. If he could, that would be huge. I do have Ordeal of the Traveler's help, even if he gets life points from it. Yeah, this will be huge for Jane actually, because he'll... Why did you get rid of polymerization? Why didn't you get rid of creature swap? You could... I said I was gonna stop, but I can't. I can't. He's just so dumb. He could have made a fusion right here if he wasn't an idiot. But whatever, I guess. What do I know, right? Oh. 
Ha! I get shield crush. I think to be fair, Mickey, the reason you probably haven't seen it is because I've been getting really unlucky and I've been drawing my roid monsters. I need to get more spellcaster fusions in there. I've been trying, but it's been difficult. Hmm. I mean... I'll stick with what I got. I'll just destroy one of these. Destroy any mini mini mini. Okay, that was a destroying that was a good move, but I'm not sure what this is. Either way, here's damage. Oh shit! He'll probably return. Damn. Yeah, figures. Well, that was a waste. Oh well. I guess that's what I get. He does piercing damage, right? I only have a monster. And of course he guesses it. I need to get more fusions in my deck when I get a chance. Just haven't been able to. Horsey I mean, guesses it. Alright. Regardless, <sighs> I actually don't want to get rid of both of his claymans because he does have the materials to make. Uh, shit. I mean, I'm gonna go. F oh, I can't get rid of some. Oh, I forgot. I can't sacrifice some of these anyway. So, yeah. Uh -huh. I'll tackle this. See what it is. Oh, piece of tie shit. Well, good thing I attacked with the. I mean, not good, but I mean, it's just something. Lovely. Oh. No, thank you. Did this... Did he... Did he just put... Summoner Monk in attack mode? He literally puts himself in defense mode when he summoned. Jaden... Jaden, he 
he literally puts himself in defense mode when he is summoned. He is the literal antithesis, antithesis of a monster that you don't put in... I'm done. Oh my god. This dude is gonna give me a fucking goddamn coronary in a minute. Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure what I want to do. I mean, if I bring back Buster Blader, he's probably just going to destroy it next turn. What I need is something that gets rid of Sparkman right now. I'm actually going to take a page out of Jaden's book and do this. Okay, well, good move. Come back to me, Buster Blader. Yeah, whatever. It's not going to be much, but it'll actually get me ahead of Tad. Uh, we're actually pretty close to killing him. It won't be when Jaden's turn arrives, but oh well. Unless I get lucky. Yeah, whatever. I'm done. I'm done tag partnering with Jaden. He sucks. And he's giving me an aneurysm. I'm out of here. What's going on? It's earlier, we weren't bad. Okay. I think I think I'm gonna end it here because I'm I'm winded at this point. But I had a lot of fun. And I think uh, I will definitely stream tomorrow. What's a uh, game yet? So I'm going to raid Munambi because I want to. And I think they're on, right? If not, then I'm in it. Yeah, they are. They're doing a first playthrough of Destroy All Humans. So please uh, tell them hello from me. And I'll catch you tomorrow. I will catch you tomorrow, Avalon. I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's go see Goob indeed.